November 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Ezekiel chapters 35 and 36 from the Old Testament. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, turn toward Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Look, I am against you, Mount Seir. I will stretch out my hand against you and turn you into a desolate ruin. I will lay waste your cities and you will become desolate. Then you will know that I am the Lord. You have shown unrelenting hostility and poured the people of Israel onto the blades of a sword at the time of their calamity, at the time of their final punishment. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will subject you to bloodshed and bloodshed will pursue you. Since you did not hate bloodshed, bloodshed will pursue you. I will turn Mount Seir into a desolate ruin. I will cut off from it the one who passes through or returns. I will fill its mountains with its dead. On your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines, those killed by the sword will fall. I will turn you into a perpetual desolation and your cities will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am the Lord. You said, These two nations, these two lands will be mine, and we will possess them, although the Lord was there. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will deal with you according to your anger, and according to your envy, by which you acted spitefully against them. I will reveal myself to them when I judge you. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have heard all the insults you spoke against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are desolate. They have been given to us for food. You exalted yourselves against me with your speech and hurled many insults against me. I have heard them all. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. While the whole earth rejoices, I will turn you into a desolation as you rejoiced over the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I deal with you. You will be desolate, Mount Seir, and all of Edom, all of it. Then they will know that I am the Lord. As for you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. The enemy has spoken against you, saying, Aha! And the ancient heights have become our property. So prophesy and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Surely because they have made you desolate and crushed you from all directions, so that you have become the property of the rest of the nations and have become the subject of gossip and slander among the people. Therefore, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to the mountains and hills, the ravines and valleys, and to the desolate ruins and the abandoned cities that have become prey and an object of derision to the rest of the nations round about. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Surely I have spoken in the fire of my zeal against the rest of the nations and against all Edom, who with great joy and utter contempt have made my land their property and prey because of its pasture. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say to the mountains and hills, the ravines and valleys, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Look, I have spoken in my zeal and in my anger because you have endured the insults of the nations. So this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I vow that the nations around you will endure insults as well. But you, mountains of Israel, will grow your branches and bear your fruit for my people Israel, for they will arrive soon. For indeed I am on your side. I will turn to you and you will be plowed and planted. I will multiply your people, the whole house of Israel, all of it. The cities will be populated and the ruins rebuilt. I will increase the number of people and animals on you. They will increase and be fruitful. I will cause you to be inhabited as in ancient times and will do more good for you than at the beginning of your history. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will lead people, my people Israel, across you. 
They will possess you and you will become their inheritance. No longer will you bereave them of their children. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because they are saying to you, You are a devourer of men and bereave your nation of children. Therefore, you will no longer devour people and no longer bereave your nation of children, declares the Sovereign Lord. I will no longer subject you to the nation's insults. No longer will you bear the shame of the peoples and no longer will you bereave your nation, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, when the house of Israel was living on their own, they defiled it by their behavior and their deeds. In my sight, their behavior was like the uncleanness of a woman having her monthly period. So I poured my anger on them because of the blood they shed on the land and because of the idols with which they defiled it. I have scattered them among the nations. They were dispersed throughout foreign countries. In accordance with their behavior and their deeds, I judged them. But when they arrived in the nations where they went, they profaned my holy name. It was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, yet they have departed from his land. I was concerned for my holy reputation, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they went. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, It is not for your sake that I am about to act, O house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy reputation, which you profaned among the nations where you went. I will magnify my great name that has been profaned among the nations, that you have profaned among them. The nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I magnify myself among you in their sight. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. Then I will bring you to your land. I will sprinkle you with pure water and you will be clean from all your impurities. I will purify you from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your body and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. I will take the initiative and you will obey my statutes and carefully observe my regulations. Then you will live in the land I gave to your fathers. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. I will call for the grain and multiply it. I will not bring a famine on you. I will multiply the fruit of the trees and the produce of the fields so that you will never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil behavior and your deeds which were not good. You will loathe yourselves on account of your sins and your abominable deeds. Understand that it is not for your sake I am about to act, declares the Sovereign Lord. Be ashamed and embarrassed by your behavior, O house of Israel. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. In the day I cleanse you from all your sins, I will populate the cities and the ruins will be rebuilt. The desolate land will be plowed instead of being desolate in the sight of everyone who passes by. They will say, This desolate land has become like the Garden of Eden. The ruined, desolate, and destroyed cities are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations which remain around you will know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruins and replanted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will allow the house of Israel to ask me to do this for them. I will multiply their people like sheep, like the sheep for offerings, like the sheep of Jerusalem during her appointed feast. So will the ruined cities be filled with flocks of people. Then they will know that I am the Lord. God, thank you so much for, for taking us from desolate ruin where our lives were barren. There was no purpose, true purpose to them at all. Our hearts weren't right. They were like stones, as Ezekiel puts it here. I look back and I remember my life without you. 
and in terms of the world, I had fun doing worldly things. All those things that consumed my life will also be consumed in the fire. They won't be anything worth anything that truly matters. And then you came into my life and you took my desolate land, my desolate life, and made it like the Garden of Eden. You took the ruined, desolation, destroyed parts of me, and truly made them healthy again. You rebuilt me, you replanted me, and you allowed me to grow in understanding what true love really was. True forgiveness of my sins. And it seemed like an endless amount of grace and mercy as I stumbled into a relationship with you. And even today, I stumble. There is nothing that we have done to deserve being taken from our desolation into a new life, a new heart, a new way of seeing and thinking and feeling about things. A new type of love that we have for other people. There's absolutely nothing redemptive wise that we have done to, to earn any of that. You gave us all of that through the horrid death of your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for the forgiveness of every sin that I have committed, every sin that I'm currently committing and all the sins in the future that I will commit, all the times I stumbled. And in giving me that forgiveness, you also gave me freedom. Freedom to live a life that is yours, God. That somehow on top of everything also includes eternal life of getting to spend the rest of time with you, glorifying you. And I do know, just like Ezekiel says, it has nothing to do with me, God. It has everything to do with you of making your name right in the world. And so if you can take somebody as incredibly desolate as me, as completely ruined as I was, and then reflect your glory and your kindness and your love and your forgiveness and your compassion, if you can reflect even a tiniest bit in my life, then of course it is all about you. And it is about what you can do in people's lives and in their hearts. You can take the most broken person who truly believes that they have no way of making their way back to you or making their way to you in the first place because of all the things they've done. And you take this person and you make them yours. You claim us. You claim us with love. You claim us with blood. You claim us because you made us. We are yours. God, I do know that there's nothing I could ever do to deserve what you've given me. But I am incredibly thankful for it. And never thankful enough because I don't fully understand just how endless all of these things are that you've given me. But please allow my life to reflect your glory. Please allow my life to not be about me but to be about you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.